This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. This video, let's look at a large language model, Gorilla. So this is a large language model connected with massive APIs. Okay. So how does this work over here? You have an API data, uh, database, that is this prompt, right? There is this information retriever, which uh, connects to this API database and then pulls out an API, right? Api, API definition and say code and then this is given to gorilla as an input and gorilla actually understands this prompt and then gives you out the api how to use the api and what parameters and it can give you that code as well right so this was actually trained on uh, say it's a llama model okay which is fine-tuned on uh, you know uh, this uh, api calls data set okay so there is this api calls data set which is from say, uh, which has a total of 1645 APIs, 94 from Torch Hub, 626 from TensorFlow Hub V2 and 925 from Hugging Face. Top 20 in each domain, uh, basically in Hugging Face, a Tensor Hub uh, V2 is exhaustive, right? So from this, uh, you know, API definitions, JSON uh, files are available for these API definitions, right? And the code. Uh, so from this, they created uh, self-instruct with in-context examples to generate close to, uh, you know, 16,450 instruction API pairs. Okay, and Gorilla was fine-tuned on this instruction API pairs. Okay, so we can quickly look at a, a collab notebook. Okay, so this is, uh, they have hosted this Gorilla model and you can actually try this particular notebook which they have given, right? So the idea over here is that, uh, you know, this basically connects to the hosted uh, uh, model. Okay, that is what uh, they are showing over here in this particular first piece of code. It's about connecting to the Gorilla hosted model and uh, getting the uh, given a prompt and uh, this thing to get a response back from Gorilla. So this is a 7 billion parameter model. Okay, so what an example is this, right? There is a prompt like this. I would like to translate this particular text. I feel very good today from English to Chinese. Even this as an input to Gorilla. Right. You can use this get gorilla response model is this and prompt is this. Right. It processes internally and says that the task is natural language processing translation. That's the domain. API call is you need translation pipeline, translation English to you know Chinese. Right. And this is the model. Uh, API provider is hugging face transformers. And then it gives the steps over here. Okay, we import the pipeline function from transformers library provided by hugging face. Pipeline is used to create a translational model. This is a particular model. The created translation pipeline can be made to translate text from English to Chinese and it gives the code for that. Okay, for this task. Okay. Another example over here is object detection. Okay. So I want to build a prompt is I want to build a robot that can detect objects in an image. Cat.jpg. Input is that cat.jpg. So for this, it identifies that the domain is computer vision object detection. API call is model DETR for object detection from pre-trained this particular model. API provider is hugging face transformers, gives a set of explanation and gives the code over here. Okay, so this is APIs. It is invoking from hugging face uh, hub, right? Now from if you want to invoke from say torch hub instead of uh, for the same prompts. So here the prompt I would like to translate from English to Chinese. So here it says from PyTorch hub for English to Chinese and Chinese English translation code is this. It is explaining the code over here, right? And uh, they are also be uh, fine tuning Gorilla on MPT and Falcon. So you can use it for commercially or as well, right? So that the model over there is Gorilla MPT, you know, 7 billion HF, okay? So here, if you look at the model, it is Gorilla 7 billion TH, Torch Hub model. Okay. That's why it is trying to get the API call from Torch Hub over here. Whereas this is an MPT thing on Hugging Face. Right. So it says, please provide the text you want to translate. This model translations between English and Chinese. And it explains the thing. What is a model, Hugging Face Transformer? It gives the explanation. Right. They also have, uh, you know, another this thing, which is for um, the old model. So they have the V1 version over here. This is the old model. Okay. Uh, 
um so again i would like to translate from english to chinese and this is the kind of response which comes out the code is not present over here so v1 version is better at code snippets okay that's why if you see this particular i want to build a robot also you see the code is not coming out because it is a v0 version okay so i actually wanted to try it out but i had tried it out at uh, using the v0 version i want to translate i am fine today from english to hindi so it says uh this is a model m2 m100 for conditional generation it's a multilingual this thing and it gives the steps but the code it doesn't complete so maybe we will try to change this to v1 and see what is the response okay so this is the gorilla 7 billion hf v1 so it's need to change this to at this to v1 let's see if it gives the code properly this and let's run this actually running now let's wait for the results in time we can look at say you know some details over here in the paper so they are currently looking at torch up tensor flow and hugging phase basically it is trained on that uh, api calls from these uh, data sets but they are also rapidly uh, you know including new domains like kubernetes google cloud aws open ai and more so what they are saying is that zero shot gorilla outperforms gpt4 chat gpt and cloud a extremely reliable and significantly reduces hallucination error so what is a clear use case over here the clear use case is you have a task and you want to call some apis to perform the task right so this model is able to identify uh, you know using an information retriever what is the task uh, you know which api is quite relevant for this task and then also it generates the api call uh, the syntax of the api call and code and then you can execute the code and get the results that is the idea let's see if it is done now okay it is done now so here it says uh, let's see again if you look at uh, load model okay, this is the model process data yeah here it says the source language is english target language is equal to hindi and it uh, what it does is that uh, the input text is equal to this tokenized input okay generated model dot generate tokenized input uh, force this thing but it doesn't complete the code over here you know there is this error where it is not completely giving the code over here i see this issue sometimes over here because i expected with v1 that i will get the code completely there is this error present okay this was a short video on gorilla large language model which is connected with massive apis i hope you like this video i'll be putting the link to this website uh, their github page as well as this uh, you know notebook in the description of the video you can check it out see you in another video